Welcome to the Henna Soup channel. It's Khadija. I'm a leading henna hair coloring expert and I'm here with another reaction video that you do not want to miss. So let's get into this reaction. Let's see what's going on with Brad Mondo and this henna experience. He is a professional hairdresser and this is the first time that he's reacted to henna hair color. As I mentioned, he did a second video. I mean, at the end of the day, it is just leaves and you know, the leaves aren't gonna kill you. The leaves aren't gonna seep into your skin and do something crazy to you. And I did a reaction to that one, uh, which you definitely should check out. And it's uh, a really good one. So let's let's see how his first experience was with henna hair color. We're watching some henna videos. And if you don't know what henna is, then that is understandable because honestly, I don't know that much about it either because I have never in my life used it. Would probably not recommend it exactly, but what we're gonna see what, what happens in these videos because I have actually never watched somebody color their hair with henna before. This is totally new to me, probably new to a lot of you. It's basically a natural way of coloring your hair. It uses plant extracts to color your hair. He definitely looks very confused as he says, plant extracts, how does that work? And I will talk to you more about my opinion on it in a second, but why don't we just do it? Let's get it started. Let's watch some people color their hair with henna and let's see how it goes. Our first video is by a girl named Plunder Bunny. I love it. Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underbus. Gender and rebels? Today you yes. are joining That's me. for a hair adventure, specifically a henna hair adventure. Ooh. Now, I've been dyeing my hair my whole life, but since about age five, the very first time I dyed Same. my hair was actually with henna. Okay, so, so that is henna. That is henna color, which she has in there right now. So henna itself is just a plant. It is a leaf right. that when dried, deposits it. It looks like matcha, and I love matcha, so. Henna does smell very nice. And this other young lady, oh, her hair is gorgeous and long and luscious, beautiful, very, very, very healthy. I haven't, it's my first time seeing uh, that video. I have, have not seen her uh, ever before coloring her hair with henna. Nice. Henna itself is only red. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. What? I've seen like black henna and brown yeah. henna and blonde henna. What, what are you talking about? Henna itself started as just red, but then they started adding, for example, the plant indigo, which right. is, it's also just a plant. And when it's dried, its leaves deposit a ridiculous bright, bright blue color. So they can make it into all different colors now. Yeah, so basically, of course, henna can be manipulated to produce other tones. It's because you're using other plant-based dyes to manipulate that, just like paints. So there are definitely ways to manipulate henna, that reddish plant-based dyes, to make it more coppery, you know, with a little bit of cassia, or to make it more brown, you know, with indigo. So there are ways to manipulate the henna. But the thing is, I believe in a DIY method, because I feel like sometimes when they're all blended together, it's not really consistent. Or if you have like cocoa butter and all these other ingredients in it, it's just very unpredictable. So let's let's keep watching. Oh, she's Diana. mixing with this water, it can result rather hot water. catastrophic occurrences, especially the ones that have metal. So it looks like she almost made a tea brew. Cool, you can do a tea brew. But warm to hot distilled water is my favorite because it's the most gentle and it's the most practical for the salon setting. This is the issue with henna and this is why a lot of hairstylists don't like it. When you color your hair with henna and then you go into a salon and you try and get, you know, your hair lightened or bleached or whatever, sometimes it reacts really weird. I've had times where the foils will literally explode. Like they will become so large, they'll almost explode on you. I've never seen that. Like it sounds like it's so interesting that they explode that I wonder why he hasn't recorded that happening. Um, I've never seen it. There's not even footage of it. So if that happens, why is nobody showing us that henna makes your hair explode? So first and foremost, not all henna is created equally. Please read this article. This article on our blog, different brands have different things going on. So that's why DIY works a whole lot better because it's consistent. You know what you're working with. It's natural, it's organic, like meaning like it's right from the farm. Like there's no like other processing going in with the, with the henna soap hair color products. So if you're using chemicals, 
Yes, you can safely do so with our brand. If you're going to use perm, yes, you can safely do so with our brand. You can still have healthy, beautiful hair. Even if it's not henna, it could be Ayurvedic hair care. You could definitely do that. The thing is, yes, he's right, though, that it is very difficult to remove henna and indigo if you're going lighter. Because you got to strip, you know, you got to strip that out. Henna is a protectant. It protects your hair. It is the armor for your hair. That is the purpose of henna because chemicals, no way, no how, are going to be better for your hair. Nah. Henna is always going to be much better for your hair. No doubt. Most of the time you ask the client, you're like, what's going on? Why is your hair doing this? Because this is not normal. And they're like, oh, I used henna before. And you're like, Oh, so like it really gets a bad rep in the hair industry because it's always like an issue for us to try and take it out. You can't color over it. It's just always a problem if you don't know how to deal with it. We're not taught how to use henna in hair school. And that's true. That's big facts. Even though I, you know, Brad Mondo comes with it from a, his approach. You know, he's a very open-minded person because remember I told you he even did a second video. I think that would be about two years later, because I did a reaction video to it, I think at the beginning of this year. And he's very open-minded. Why would he waste his time trying to approach it? No doubt at the end of the day, this is a conversation that we're having, you know, like about how can professionals in the salon setting actually use henna? Because there are professionals that want to use henna hair color and Ayurvedic hair care. So if you are curious about that and you're a professional watching this, or please share this with your hairdresser, your stylist. You have the right to have healthy hair through herbal hair care. Those on previously dyed hair can just absolutely break your hair and oh. turn it like green. This How is crazy. That's a hair color. It looks like dyes. green mud. However, I could be wrong because this I seems like so much body. work. I'm curious to know why these people decide to use henna instead of using hair color. Well, I mean, obviously because they want to naturally color their hair, Brad. They don't want to use chemicals. Hello. Yes, chemicals are easier. Yes chemicals run cosmetology schools because they're making money off of that <laughs> they're making money off of that why are they gonna be for henna for me it's all about that love for natural hair care self-care health and wellness because henna to me is not just a product it is deeper than that it is culture it is beauty it brings people together henna does not lift your hair it is basically like a demi permanent color it only deposits color on top of your hair color so you're not gonna be able to lift it past the color you're at you can only go darker you can't go lighter with henna yeah exactly he's right you can't go lighter it's not a chemical it's not stripping no, you cannot just go darker. That is not correct because if your hair is like dark brown or black, if you use henna because it's a reddish natural dye, if you're using just henna, just henna on its own, it's going to give you the appearance of lightness because of that red tint. So that's a little, little loophole. So henna starts off this ridiculous bright green color and it actually smells very strongly of matcha. So if oh, you a I love like, matcha. You want to huh. have a little bit of acidity mixed in with water. The acidity can be in the form of lemons or limes or vinegar. He's already like, that's coffee, too much work. Like Brad, Brad, tea. Brad. Um, don't worry, remember, this is somebody gonna do their hair on their own and they wanna add other ingredients and they wanna do a bunch of stuff. But as I mentioned earlier, all you need is warm to hot distilled water and that's all that professionals need. Even you at home, that's all you really need. You don't need a whole bunch of fancy ingredients in this acidic and this and this and this and that. It works with just warm to hot water. Did for the easiest option in my house, which was fresh brewed coffee. You put coffee in with it? Coffee, Anything that's acidic. This is mind blowing. This is so strange. The rest, you just have to keep mixing. The next step is. He finds it strange, very interesting. You know, when he's doing these type of videos, he and, and he's learning about henna. He remember he doesn't have access to professionals like that or professionals in henna. Brad, you need to reach out to the henna sook, my dear. 
I got you. Keep mixing. The next step is actually letting the henna cure overnight. Let the what? Henna cure. what? I know what he's going to say overnight. So it's not overnight anymore. It's about three to four hours max. Please, guys, don't leave your henna out all night. If you want to reach the optimal time for uh, like that peak dye time, the dyeing time, because if you let it sit out too long, sometimes it starts demising. Three to four hours max is great. Pull it up. So you have to make coffee, mix up, leave it overnight, then apply it to your hair, and I'm pretty sure you have to wait a long time with it on your head. So this is a lot of work to literally not have damage in your hair, even though like dummy permanent hair color never damages your hair because it's not lifting at all, it's just depositing color. So I think I don't quite understand yet why people go with henna. These people probably don't have a lot of knowledge about real hair color because if they did, I have no clue why they're using henna. Well, Brad, lovely, lovely Brad. There, I know you probably know now because you've done a newer video about henna and you tried it out yourself, but people are willing to do what it takes to naturally coloring their hair. Yes, maybe they don't know about the whole world of, you know, other kind of hair dyes and all that other stuff, you know, and whatnot, because Brad, you're, you're, you're not looking, you're not seeking out professionals that are doing henna hair color. You're looking at your everyday person doing it from home. But let's keep watching. Let's see Let's see if we get a little more knowledge about this. So I left mine to actually cure overnight, but as long as you leave it for two hours, it's fine. Okay. But as it's it gives curing, you more color if you leave it overnight. Of okay, got it. Wow. Like so you just like basically put dye. mud on your head um, and mush it in. Too, and you have a lot of hair slash are lazy, spend a long time searching through oh my your hair. Oh my God. Frame. She she applied that henna like hey, ain't no thing. I mean, you can't section your hair at least in because she does have a lot of hair. Um, but hey, if it gets the job done and you're happy, it's fine. I always like to apply it to damp hair strands, like so after like clarifying, like washing it first or pre-poo or something to that effect that your hair likes. Remember, it's about your hair. Also, look at those. Properly. Those are now, some. With, with henna, as with all hair dye, more is better than. Sorry, I. <sighs> so don't skip. You might be jealous about the babies. Putting this <laughs> literally <laughs> poopy mud on her hair, and um, this is gonna yeah, color it, apparently. Really Red. Do. Something else to note about henna, it does actually take a few days to cure. Um, and that's after. <laughs> He's washing. about to have a meltdown. <laughs> No, like I don't know what the how the words that she used like a few days to cure I would probably say like it takes a few days to oxidize so yes you dye the henna it's a little bit bright at first sometimes and it just like settles in about like two or three days he's about to have a meltdown <laughs> so, uh... yo y'all are nuts I'm sorry you a henna girl I don't know about this man I don't know this is jealous. a lot your hair jealous. has to don't cure it what so you first have to mix it for three hours with coffee or lemon or whatever and then you have to let it sit overnight and then you have to put it on your head and it takes hours to sit in and then you have to let it cure till the color shows up what happened to regular hair color i want to know Dye whatever surface we're going to never so ever touch henna ever what did he say wait wait let, let's repeat what did he just say we're going to never so ever touch henna ever oh oh but he did a video where he did the henna himself. Are you ready to see the results? Oh, whoa. And yeah, this was the end result. I am ridiculously happy with it. I think that the color is beautiful. You can um, see it died at um, the wazoo because at about- Sorry, I'm gathering my thoughts here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. What? He doesn't like her hair? It's amazing and it's shiny and it's beautiful. What's he twisting up his mouth like that for? I'm gonna be honest, Plunder Bunny. Um, it doesn't look that different. And for that much work, I would expect it to look like, whoa, like vibrant and gorgeous. Well, she didn't necessarily do a different recipe. She did the same henna treatment and is just like almost refreshing it. So it's not really supposed to change. Henna can brighten and deepen up over a few applications. But she mentioned that she's already been doing it for such a long time that there's not going to be, you're going to come to a point where the change is not going to be like drastic. It's like if you keep using, you know, henna indigo or you're dyeing hair black, I mean, your hair is obviously going to keep saying black, right? What kind of difference are you expecting? <laughs> she didn't do a different color. She just did henna again. That, that's all. So it should be pretty consistent. But it kind of just looks like it, it 
it like colored some spots, some spots no, some spots are like gray. What he didn't really touch on that he probably doesn't really know, and this is important to know, is that henna not only is about that hair coloring aspect of it, but the benefits of the henna. It, it behaves similar to like, you know, like a protein treatment. Of course, it quotes that hair straff. It doesn't like go into penetrating the hair like that, but um, it does protect the hair. It adds a lot of shine and definition. It can be healthier for your, definitely your scalp so your hair can, you know, be pr promoting more hair growth and whatnot. So overall, oh, and the split ends. Oh, forget it. Like those split ends will not be existing. <laughs> they will be gone. It looks very uneven, I'm gonna be honest. And I just know for a fact if you use like permanent hair color, it would be so vibrant and your hair would be so soft. And like reds in permanent hair color are just the prettiest thing ever. Oh, like a nice red. There's nothing that feels more special to me. Like a nice ruby deep red. It's really pretty. Um, so I don't know. For me, it's that was not worth the effort. But hey, we have a couple more videos to watch. Let's see if anybody else convinces me of this henna hair color. But I'm thinking probably not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so the next video is by Praise on Anna Trolls. Another name I can't read. It's not just a weekly occurrence now. Okay, this is called How to Turn White or Gray Hair into Black Natural with No Chemicals Hair Dye Step by Step. Mm -hmm, great. So we're mixing the same matcha situation again, this muddy matcha, which just looks so appetizing to me. I love my matcha. Any of my matcha lovers out there like, with a girl. Oh, and I like that he's showing some curly girls. Oh yes, and a lot of gray. This woman has a lot of gray hair. And if you don't already know, gray hair is very hard to cover because basically white hair is unpigmented hair. There's nothing inside of it. Yeah, gray hairs, um, you know, because henna behaves in a way that colors and, and just deposits on the natural hair color that you have already. So the grays more than likely would stand out automatically with just henna alone. Like they would just be so bright. So you have to replace all the primary colors within the strand in order to get a really pigmented, nice, even coating on the hair follicle. Basically, she's gonna have to fill the hair in a sort of way with, I think she's gonna do orange, and then she has to go over that with black. That probably doesn't make any sense to you guys who aren't hair colorists, but to those of you who are, that's what's going on. That actually kind of looks a little bit like hair color. Like really gross green. I don't understand how that turns orange. That's so like weird to me. So she's basically filling the gray with orange. Wow. Yeah, which is basically just henna. So it's pure henna powder all over the hair. And we're gonna see how it's gonna come out. And yes, it will cover gray. It's gonna be gorgeous. It does look kind of fun though. It's like playing with mud. Like I kind of like that. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so yeah, so she filled the hair with orange, like I said. Yeah, because henna acts as the base for indigo. You can't use indigo alone because indigo will make your hair green alone. So hence the horror stories you hear about, oh, henna made my hair green. No, 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 boo, no, boo. <laughs> indigo made your hair green. All right, so. We we're now putting indigo on top of the orange in order to turn all of her hair black, which seems like this is gonna work. She just filled the hair and now she's gonna deposit more black tones onto it. So pretty nifty. I mean, it's pretty cool that you can do this all with natural plants. Oh my God, that stuff looks so bizarre though. Weird, man. Wow, it's dark. Science, man. It's cool shit. Wow, that looks actually pretty good. I'm excited to see what the outcome of this one is. Whoa. Okay, it completely covered her gray hair, which is pretty cool that a plant can do that. Like that's pretty impressive. But here's the thing. If you're not a colorist, you probably wouldn't notice this, but with henna, you, you're not choosing the types of tones that go in the dark color. You're not choosing like, hey, I want some warmth in there. I want a little bit of cool in there. I want a little bit of red. I want a little bit of this, whatever. That's how you formulate hair colors in a professional setting. Like my hair, like this is not just blonde. Like, you know, as a colorist, we don't just call it blonde. We call it like an ashy blonde, which is, you know, a color that has more blue tones inside the color mixture. That way it turns your hair more white gray instead of like yellowy white. We mix in more purple and blue blue tones or one or the other in order to make blonde hair more ash color. Yeah, and I mean, and that's true. That can give you a lot of versatility. You know, I know that's why people love dyeing their hair with chemicals because they have a lot of options. I get it. I definitely get it. 
if you're going to go the chemical hair color route, I respect that. That is that is up to you. It is your hair. I want to say that you can still use Ayurvedic hair care to maintain the overall health of your hair. Just because you're using you know other products and dyes and chemicals, you can still use Ayurvedic herbal hair care to you know promote hair growth, to keep your hair healthy. Don't dismiss herbal hair care because you're concerned like, oh no, like, you know, now I can't. I can't do both, but actually you can with henna soup. Basically, you can't do that with henna. You get kind of like a one size fits all thing. And to me, this looks super inky. And if you don't know what inky is either, this is a very description. This is a very um, technical video I'm filming today. If you don't know what inky means, it's literally like paper with ink on it. Like it just looks very dense and like there's no shine to it. There's no quality. There's no like, I don't know. There's no lust to it. It just looks kind of like black was just put on the hair. It just doesn't look like professional to me. Uh-uh, I disagree. Her hair probably like really nice and shiny. And then sometimes you add, have to add extra moisture. You guys cannot tell me when you're in the salon setting that all you do is hair color and all you need is hair color to make the hair look gorgeous, shiny and healthy. No, there are a lot of other steps that come after chemical hair color. This one, I saw the thumbnail and her hair looks pretty cool. So Crystal Collins is gonna dye her hair red with henna and hopefully this might be the last one and the best one. So let's watch. And this is uh, actually vegan, organic, cruelty free, chemical free, preservative free. Love it. No PPD, no ammonia, no peroxides, no pesticides, no metallic salts. Cost me $12.99 on $12. Amazon. Okay. And hoping that I'm gonna be happy with it. Love that, love that, love that. I've got my uh, shirt, <laughs> and I'm going to turn on shirt. Really Shady. Dr. Who would be not be happy about this. Okay, we're coloring. We're going in. We're doing it, honey. Let's see if this is finally a good henna job. So we are going in with that henna again. It looks like muddy sh And that's fine. Whatever you're into, man. Whatever you're into. I'm into some weird and so is this girl apparently. I just really want to see the outcome of this. I don't even care. We've learned enough about henna today. I just want to know what happens to her hair. It looks a little more red than uh, in other people's. I have this on my head for like an hour. Some people do it after three hours, so I don't know how- I heard five, hair. girl. I, I heard five somewhere hair. else. Five hours is about the minimum amount of time that you want to do it. You can leave it in your hair for three to four hours. If you have a heat cap or a steamer, you can cut that time in half and boom, you'll be done. When I get back, wish me luck. Okay, so we finally have the reveal. Oh, wow. I just washed this out of my hair last night, so it's a really vibrant color that you get right afterwards, and it should be like a deeper tone within okay. the next couple days. This is how it looks, and I am very excited because this is the color I've been going for for like... Okay, that looks really red. I don't know if her settings on our camera are tr like correct, true to color, because that is so red. But again, she definitely missed spots, like she says, and it looks a little like... Weirdly, Brad, she's doing it on her own. I'm sure if she actually had access to more professionals that did henna hair color, you know, she would have help with that, right? <laughs> and you can see the before picture of how orange it looked. Whoa, yeah, this is how it looks under under the lights right here in my little studio. I want to see it in the sun. Show me the sun. Show me the sun. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wow, that is extremely vibrant. That is nice. That kind of tone, well remember, her hair was a lot lighter. Blondish kind of orangish tone. It was a bit, you know, it's a bit lighter to start with. So when your hair, the lighter it is, the more vibrant that red will be because that's the way it kind of works. Yeah, her hair is like boom, like fire. <laughs> you could get that tone with a uh, red rash henna powder for sure. One kind of very pretty. I'm not gonna lie, that looks very nice. You're still not getting the vibrancy you would have gotten with salon hair color. You're just not, and you're probably not gonna ever. And also, she didn't even pick that color. Like, she just wanted red, and it just gives her whatever red reacts with her hair. She said she gets a different color every time, which is so weird, and like, aren't you a little scared of that? Like, isn't that a little, like, mm, I don't know. Listen, Brad, you can go to the hair salon, and depending on your hairdresser, not every hairdresser is perfect. Sometimes things come out differently than the way they are. People that like henna are open to that because they would just rather color their hair naturally, you know? All right, Crystal, thank you for that. It was a little quick 
a quick little video. I just wanted to see something that was like really bright and vibrant with henna. And honestly, look decent. Look decent. So I think what I learned today is that henna is f weird, man. <laughs> and I will not be using it anytime soon. He did make a video though. So you have to see my reaction video to that. That is a good video. Um, I'm basically less convinced than I was before watching that it's a good thing to use in your hair. I'm gonna have to say, not a good idea. Would not recommend. Just use a demi-permanent color. It's not gonna damage your hair at all. It just deposits color, it doesn't lift. The thing that breaks your hair off is lifting. It's lifting. I just don't know what the point of henna is and I mean, I'm already be honest though, like he's talking about, you know, chemicals and whatnot and different, you know, demi-permanent, permanent, blah, 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 and they're lifting and all that stuff. Henna can also break your hair, Brad. It can, um, it can actually. So yes, we go back to adding aloe vera powder, other oils and other moisture treatments. But in the salon setting, it's so easy to do. Like go to the professionals page at hennasup.com. Please share this with your favorite stylist, hairdresser. Share with them this amazing professional page just dedicated to professionals and all the information that they need to get started in henna and Ayurvedic hair care. And, um... I don't know. And all you henna lovers out there, come for me. Come for me, honey. I'm ready. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm not coming for you, though. You know, like, I, I think it's a good conversation. And, and those of you that know me, that know that I'm like that, I, I want you guys, you know, to be open to just learning. And I think, you know, honestly, Brad, you know, is taking steps to learning more. He doesn't know. It's just because... Guys, you have to keep in mind that hairdressers and stylists don't have access to this kind of information. It's on YouTube and you guys have to go to the professionals page and kind of like get the real information on it, you know, and the real videos that we have right here on our YouTube channel from a professional's perspective. That's a head expert like me, you know, so definitely because I'm all about having conversations and I also am the type that respects the decisions that you make at the end of the day i think people just want you to understand them and respect them you know and i want to challenge all of you all of you watching everyone has a, an opinion everyone has a thought everyone everyone wants to chime in i get it i i definitely get it my approach has always been that we can learn so much from all of us together we all have you know, perspectives and information, and we just have to listen sometimes, not be so quick to just be talking all the time. Listen and learn. I want you guys also to find out at least three countries that henna grows in and get more information about those countries. Henna is not <laughs> exclusive to one country, one region, one culture, one people. It is not. I have to be 100% honest, that is probably one of the most irritating things to me, is when a particular culture lays claim to henna, because henna is not part of one culture, one way. It, it really is not. Okay, it doesn't grow here in Canada and United States, you know, it's not it's not grown here like like naturally. You know, henna grows in a lot of countries. Like, guys gotta check out Africa. Hello? Africa. You Africa. Yes, my people, my people, henna is not cultural misappropriation. This is part of our culture. These are part of our roots. We gravitate to it for a reason. So recognize that henna is speaking to you, maybe through ancestors and through generations. It's speaking to you, your mind, your body, your soul for a reason. You have India, you have Pakistan, you have a lot of the Middle East. And, and you know why we don't know about a lot of other you know, countries that do do henna or it grows there because some of those places, um, they're not as advanced. They don't got the video and the photo technology still. Um, a lot of cultures are shy. If they're Muslim, you're not going to see that kind of like, if I wear hijab, I'm not going to show off my hair. I'm not like showing you all these things that I'm doing. It's a bit more private, you know? We women, we do do those things. Uh, I implore all of you to travel the world and see the beautiful things that women are doing throughout the world. Like, they be taking care of themselves. When I was in Morocco, 
the women be going to the spa every single week and it's private there's no men there's no videos there's no cameras people aren't taking pictures that that kind of stuff it's private you might not see as much but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist let's see how brad concludes not my thing and if it's your thing go for it live your extra henna life and thank you all so much for watching today yes brad we thank you too because you are making these videos i respect it i respect that because what other hairdressers do you know taking the time to trigger us into a conversation about henna hair color? I mean, come on. We got to give this guy his props, okay? I, I fully respect that because I don't see anybody necessarily putting themselves out there. Maybe one day I'll get to meet Brad, have a conversation, talk a little, you know, seems like a really cool guy. And remember, henna brings people together it brings people together it's deep it's a vibe it's an energy so thank you all for tuning in to another reaction video i really hope you like this one so don't forget subscribe to the henna Sook channel click the little bell dingy thing so that you can get notifications the page has been growing so amazing so please share this with other people and just yeah, keep watching. Stay tuned. If you have any special requests, let me know. I would love to hear from you. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care.